Hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Impossible. Welcome back to my Let's Make Adventure series where we're making a roguelike on the Atari 8-bit in assembly language. Last week, we set up display list interrupts, we changed the timing, and also put borders on the screen. This week, we're gonna be setting up all our icons for the UI, and uh, it's really gonna start filling out. So let's get into it. So last time, you know, we looked at this display borders function and we have all of these uh, icons set up. Well, we need more of those. These labels uh, come in very handy for this stuff. And I'm, I'm gonna do another copy and paste, which you, know, you guys know I'm not fond of, but uh, I don't think you guys wanna see me type that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, looking at the uh, what we have over here, let me go ahead and pull up our, uh, our, our image so you guys can kind of follow along with what we have here. If you guys remember from the uh, video where we went over the graphics change, uh, we, you know, the keys look a little different than they did before. Uh, and the reason why is because we ran into some issues when displaying them on the screen, and that is uh, to make it look right. So we ended up changing it so that instead of just uh, having all the keys be the same color, what we were gonna do is change it so that the, each key has a different head and a, uh, you know, a white body. So we we're actually able to gain a couple of characters in our character set for that um, so it's kind of cool but let's go through some of these icons here so we have a white key icon which is right here uh, going to the gold you'll see that we have 14 plus 128 now the reason why we have that is because you know remember when we were very early on we were talking about how to get five colors on the screen and how we can't have one of those colors coincide with another one essentially the fourth and fifth color can't be on the same character they can be on the same tile but not the same character this is the reason it has this is because you have the, uh, in a character set, you have the first 128 uh, characters are, are these guys right here. The second 128 characters are inverse of those. And the inverse is how you get that fifth color. And so in order to make the gold show up, we have to add 128 to it. And that's why the, anything that is gold has 128 added to it. Um, so let's see what else is different. Uh, the torch, you know, we have the gold in there. So 128, we have left and right, left and right for all these. Um, didn't want to mess with tiles on this because we wanted to be able to do things independent of each other. Uh, so I just did left and right. Um, let's see. So we have all the numbers, the uh, the bars. So we uh, changed up the way the bars look um, so that we could actually do some some nicer things with the way uh, this looked. We were uh, one of the problems that we ran into was the fact that the XP bars and the the uh, HP bars ran into the, the the icons below it. So we wanted to add a little bit of uh, uh, vertical space. So we just shrunk those a little bit and actually it looks a lot better. Uh, we also tweaked that I think the shield isn't as tall as it used to be, etc. You can probably find some fine differences here uh, in order to make it look right on the screen. Um, yeah, so let's uh, so let's uh, look at how we're going to get these on the screen. So we also have the uh, the um, icons and the, the gems. All this stuff is right here. So let's uh, look at how we're going to get that on the screen. So we have display border. So we're going to just create a, we're going to say uh, display UI. Okay, so we have a lot of blitting to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this to update UI because these are things that will change. Uh, you know, if the player gets hit or they heal or something, their XP or their HP bar will go up. If they kill something, the XP bar will go up, etc. etc. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do HP bar. Um, now, this is a case where I could um, copy and paste, but I'm going to go ahead and do some of it uh, just so you can kind of see. Uh, so I'm going to say UI um hp icon left so we're going to build this this hp um bar now keep in mind 
it's not going to be functional yet. It's kind of gonna just basically be a dummy amount of data. We'll work on actually updating those later when we actually are going to change some of these values. Um, so we wanna have this pop up on the screen pointer. So we actually, so we need to copy in WA screen into screen pointer. Same as we've done on all the others. And we're gonna have this uh, icon for the HP uh, show up on the left-hand side there. And then we have for the right as well. So let's go ahead and put these here. Again, we could use the tile, but I'd rather just do it this way. Um, and we actually have one for the colon. So I'm just gonna put one right next to that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. So now we have UI bar left. That's gonna be at 28. So that's just gonna be this uh, vertical bar here that, that goes on the left-hand side. So the vertical bars are set up so that it's blank and then it has on the right-hand side for the, for the left bar. And then the right-hand bar is the exact opposite. It has on the left. So that when you put all these together, it's gonna make the bar looks, uh, look contiguous. Um, so we're gonna add that. And we're gonna give the player uh, quite a bit of health here. So we're gonna say HP full. So that's gonna be this guy right here where it's um, you know full red on uh, you know on there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do there, and then we can say on 29. And uh, oops, screen pointer. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these on here. Okay. And we'll put them at 30. 31, 32, 33. And then we'll kind of give it like a three quarter of the way. So you can see that the 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 uh, health has been diminished just a little bit. So we'll just do HP three quarters, what I call it. And we'll do that at four. So that's going to be uh, this one right here, which it's kind of hard to tell when they're all together, but um, you know, it's going to be three uh, strips of red and then one of black. So that'll be at the end. And then we need the bar right to put the end cap on. And let's go 35. And yeah, so we should uh, take a look at this, see if we did everything okay. Ah, we didn't do an NP, and we didn't do an RTS, and we didn't call it. So <laughs> let's uh, let's let's do that maybe. Um, so this one um, we could call it all the time. Um, I don't see. I mean, it's one of those things that I think we're only going to want to call it uh, when something changes. It doesn't make sense to call it every time. It just wastes cycles. So I'm just going to put it at the beginning and we're never going to call it again until we actually change something. So I'm going to say update UI. Okay. And I'm going to run it or assemble it and then run it. So we now have uh, HP. Uh, and it, so we have an HP bar up here. Looks pretty decent. Now, one of the other things that I did when I was looking into this is, this is not very good looking because it's brown. And unfortunately, it's one of those things what we're trying to do is we're trying to make one color function for both red and brown. And that's kind of a pain. Um, but we're gonna make do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to this, um, color palette here and try to pick a better color. Um, so let's go. So I think I'm using, let's see what we're using right now. We look in main. For red, we're using 22. Okay. Um, so that 
comes out to be basically it's a brown and unfortunately one of those problems is that we uh these are kind of approximate they're not the best uh color representations let me try changing it to 23 i believe is what looks better uh let me check my notes here um red no 32 sorry i went the other way so let's uh let's try changing the red to 32. take a look much better um now the deal is is that our uh our ladders are now red too but in the context of it that actually looks okay um i think that it's much better to have a red ladder than a brown hp bar <laughs> definitely let me know what you think in the comments but i think that looks way way better uh his hair is also red now now that is one thing we can definitely change the player missile graphics uh the the um the colors on the player missile graphics have nothing to do with the other stuff so we can totally change it now we may want to stay stay with the same palette um but uh, regardless yeah we can change that later on so we now have an hp bar so i'm going to start copying and pasting just because you know it's a lot easier on me as far as having to not have to type this every time and you don't need to see it either um, so we're going to move a line down so let's put the rest of the icons on the screen um, so we kind of came up with where the, the locations are going to be. It may not stay that way, but it's, I think, a good start. So we're going to do the skills next. So we're going to have the, on the next line, we're going to have the uh, melee icon. So this guy right here, the sword. Okay, and we're also going to have three numbers beside it. So the idea is that the skills will be able to go from zero, basically, I think it's going to start at one, but go to 255. Um, so we want to be able to represent those numbers here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I will show it every time I, I do one of these. So now we have the sword with a zero and sitting at zero and we'll work on later on we'll work on a, a procedure to make these into um, actual values uh, but for now we're just going to have it be dummy data to zeros um, so now we'll do the uh, ranged so i'll go ahead and do that let's take a look at that cool so that's starting to shape up. I like the way that looks. Um, it's got good spacing. This is what I was talking about earlier with the HP bar. Before it was going all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, and there was no gap. And having the gap here makes a huge difference on how it looks. Um, so let's, uh, now we need to go to the next line. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Um, and we'll go ahead and put in, let me go ahead and do two of them at a time. We're gonna do both the defense and the fortitude, okay? So that's gonna be the uh, shield and the heart. Nice. That heart looks way better than if it were being brown. Now, one of the things I might do here is if you look at the way these are lined up, um, because of these icons are set up a certain way, I'm wondering if it makes sense, because when you're dealing with a lot of things you need to have centered, you need to pick one side or the other to have a blank. And I'm kind of thinking we may want to move the shield and the heart over one pixel in the art so that they line up vertically here. Uh, but we'll deal with that later. Um, and we'll do another line. And then we're gonna do the XP bar, which looks almost identical to the um, health bar, if you look here. So we have, HP icon left, HP icon right, colon, bar left, then X, you know, HP folds all the way to the quarter, three quarters, and uh, bar right. Um, so now we just have XP icon 
XP, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so icon bar left, XP full, half. We just did something different instead of being three quarters. We did half. Uh, and also empty. So the idea is this is going to make it so that, uh, you know, it's not all the way up. It's, you know, it's going to have a couple of squares where it's going to be empty. After the XP bar, let's go ahead and add the inventory. Let's uh, check that out. So this is going to be uh, the torch, the uh, potions, and the coins. Okay, looking good. And next up is the amulet. Cool. So we have the white gem being in the center uh, so that it looks right with the borders. Um, you know, I was thinking about putting the gold one in the center because that would make maybe more sense, but um, so it'll look a little interesting. The first one will be probably the white one, I think, and then black and then blue. Will, you know, it'll, it'll look okay, I think. Um, and the next one is the keys. So we needed to back up a little bit on the keys. And the reason why is because we wanted to put it at the same level as the amulet. Let's uh, go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So we have the keys on the same level. Yeah, we could have uh, done it piecemeal, but it's probably easier just to do it this way. Display the amulet and then display the keys on top. Um, so there you have it. Uh, so we now have a UI that looks, I think, pretty good. Um, we've got, you know, the character moving around the screen. We have things working pretty well. So that's all for this week. Next week, we should be able to start getting into uh, procedural generation of the maps. I can't wait for that because that's going to be really cool. Um, Ray and I have been working on the algorithm, mostly Ray, uh, to, to generate uh, the rooms. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So in any case, see you in the next adventure. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I post new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to click up here. And if you'd like to see something else, be sure to click up here.